Quotients of monomials. In this lesson, you will learn how to simplify quotients using the laws of exponents and how to simplify expressions involving the exponent 0 and negative integral exponents. We already know our laws of exponents. Remember that a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. The quantity of, or a b quantity um, to the m is equal to a to the m times b to the m. And a to the m quantity to the n is equal to a to the mn. So if you have two of the same base, you add the exponents. If you have a set of parentheses, you distribute that outside exponent to, the, to each uh, term inside the parentheses, or each um, variable. And then if you have two ex or something to a power to another power, you multiply those exponents. So now the new laws of exponents that we're going to talk about is if m is greater than n, then when you have a to the m, divided by a to the n, you're subtracting your exponents. If m is less than n, you're still subtracting your exponents, but the a is under 1 now. It creates a fraction. And if we have a over b to the power of m, then that's a to the m over b to the m. Very similar to this second laws of, law of exponents that we had before. And then we have two more that deal with negative exponents and exponents of 0. Hopefully we remember that a to the 0 is equal to 1. And then a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the n. And that very closely relates to this law of exponents because we had to bring it down under the, under the radical, or under the um, fraction on the denominator of the fraction. Because if m is smaller, then when you subtract these, you're going to get a negative answer. So it would be a to a negative power. And so that's why it goes on the bottom. So these two are very closely related. All right, so let's try some. Simplify these three expressions. So let's grab a pen. All right, so for number one, we have 9x cubed over x, or I'm sorry, 9x cubed y squared over 3x squared y to the fifth. So we have 9 divided by 3. Let's just separate these. All right, and then we have x to the 3 minus 2, and then we have y to the 2 minus 5. So that gives us 3x to the first y to the negative third, and then because that's a negative exponent, it goes on the bottom of the fraction. So we have 3x over y to the third, and that is our answer. Then over here for number two, we have 4 over 18 times a to the 3 minus 1 times b to the 1 minus 4. So <clears throat> 4 over 18 reduces to 2 ninths. So we have a 2 on the top and a 9 on the bottom. And then we have a squared and b to the negative 3. Well, that negative 3 means it's coming down. So our final answer is 2a squared over 9b cubed. All right, now let's try number three. We have three over two times six times c to the fourth over c squared times d to the fifth over d squared. All right, so this fraction will reduce to give us one-fourth because 2 times 6 is 12, and 3 over 12 is 1 fourth. Then we have c to the 4 minus 2, and d to the 5 minus 2. 
So we have 1 times c squared times d to the third all over 4. Now you could also write that as 1 fourth c squared d to the third. Either of those expressions is correct. You also don't have to write that 1 in the first expression. Now let's try three more. All right, so for number four, we need to distribute our square to every, every term. So three squared, r squared, and then we have our five squared, and then when we distribute the square to that three, we get, well, yeah, we get to the six because we multiply those exponents. And then we just simplify our numbers because our variables aren't going to change. So we have 9r squared over 25s to the sixth. And that is your answer. Oh, sorry about that. Now let's try number five. All right, we're going to leave the first part alone for right now. So we'll just say 4x over 3y to the seventh. Now we're going to distribute our three. So it's y to the four times three over two cubed times x to the two times three. So we have four over three times eight times x over x to the sixth times y to the 12th over y to the 7th. So when we reduce this, it's 4 over 24, which reduces to 1 8th, I'm sorry, 1 6th. Then we have times x to the, well, we could just do it that way. Let's see. Eraser. Oh, I do have an eraser. Yay. All right. So now let me pick up my pen again. And so we have 1 over x to the 5, because we have 5 x's on the bottom. And then we have y to the 5th on top. So when we consolidate all that, we have y to the 5th over 6x to the 5th. Now let's try number six. We're going to distribute that square to every item. So we have negative two. Remember to put it in parentheses because everything needs to be squared. U to the three times two. V to the two times two. And our denominator stays the same. So we have 12 U squared V to the fourth. All right, so up here this becomes a four over 12 times u to the sixth over u squared times v to the fourth over v to the fourth. So four over 12 is gonna give us one third. So we have one third. Six minus two gives us four, so that's u to the fourth. And then four minus four is zero, so this whole expression becomes a one. So you can either write it like this, or you can write it as u to the fourth over three. Either one of those is acceptable. Write in simplest form without negative or zero exponents. All right, so we wanna get rid of all of our neg negative and zero exponents first, and then we'll simplify. So anything that's negative flips, goes either to the top or to the bottom. So this 6 to the negative 1, in order to make that 1 a positive, we bring it down. So it becomes 6 to the first. Then this x to the negative 2 comes down to the bottom to make it positive. And the z cubed stays on the top. Then down here on the bottom, the 5 to the 0 becomes a 1, so we don't really have to write that. x to the negative 1, to make that a positive 1, we bring it up top. 
and then z to the negative 2. To make it positive, we bring it up to the top. Now it's a matter of simplifying. We can combine our z's to get z to the fifth. Remember when we multiply z to the third times z squared, and let's write that down over here, z to the third times z squared times x to the first, all over 6x squared. We're going to multiply these exponents. So we get, I'm sorry, we're going to add the exponents. So we're going to get z to the fifth, and then we're going to subtract these exponents so we have a 6x on the denominator. Then number 8, we're going to do the same thing, get rid of all of our negative exponents and any zeros that we might have, and then simplify. So the m to the negative 2 goes down to the bottom, and then the n stays on the bottom. Then we're going to distribute our negative 1 up here. So we have m to the negative 3 over 3 to the negative 1 Mom. times n to the negative 2. Remember, we multiply our exponents. Now let's get rid of all of our negative exponents. So we bring, well, we already did the first term. So then we're going to bring that negative 3 down and make it positive. So the m to the third goes on the bottom. That 3 comes up top, and the n squared comes up top. Now we just combine all of our like terms. So we have 12 on the top, and then n squared over n gives us n. And then m squared times m to the third gives us m to the fifth. Express without using fractions. All right, so we don't want to have any denominators. So we want to bring everything up to the top. So this 3 becomes a negative, and the b has an exponent of a 1, so it becomes to the negative 1. And that is all you do to write without using fractions. Now let's do the same thing over here. All right, so we have 8x squared y. That just stays where it is. Then to bring the x up top, it becomes x to the negative 1. And to bring the y cubed up top, it becomes y to the negative 3. Now we can simplify this by combining our exponents of our like terms. So we have x squared and x to the negative 1. So when we add those together, we get x to the first, which you don't have to write that one if you don't want to. And then we have y to the first times y to the negative 3. So when we add those exponents, it becomes y to the negative 2. And that is your answer. Again, you don't have to write the 1 with the x right there. It's up to you. So now you have some problems to practice. Simplify 18x to the fifth over 6x squared, 3a to the negative 3b over 15ab to the zero, and negative c cubed over 4d to the negative 3 times 6d to the zero over c to the negative 2.